रामाय राम भद्राय रामचंद्राय वेद से रघुनाथाय नाथाय सीताय पते नम अयोध्या कांड चैप्टर नंबर 117 महर्षि अत्रि द रेसिटेशन बिगिन्स नाउ बट लेटर ऑन Rama took calm counsel with himself and saw many a reason why he should not stay there. My heart will be pained at the memory of the visit paid me here by Bharata, the royal ladies, and the citizens. Again, this place has been rendered foul and unclean by the stay of the huge army of Bharata, countless horses, elephants, camels, bulls, and cows camped here, and these woods are very much the worse for it. A change is necessary and welcome. So to the ashrama of Maharishi Atri he repaired with Lakshmana and Sita, and reverently laid his head at the feet of the sage. The saint looked upon them as his own children and extended to them the heartiest welcome. Anusuya, the ideal wife, chanced to come in, and her husband said to her, "I commend our girl Janaki to your care." Then addressing himself to Rama, she is ever intent upon practicing the highest dharma. Her yogic might is something inconceivable. Once in the far past, there was a terrible drought for eleven years. Plant and herb, flower and leaf, creeper and tree faded and withered. Yet she created them out of her tapas and caused a full current of water to flow in the Ganga. On another occasion, to serve the purpose of the gods, she converted eleven days into one night. Thousands of years have passed over her head while she sat in stern tapas, keeping the vows and observances, dangers and perils, obstacles and trials have shattered themselves against her iron will. Reverence her as the mother that bore you. She deserves the worship and adoration of all beings. Her fame is equalled but by her ears. Anger and wrath are not to be spoken of in the same breath with her. For the good of the world, she has practiced stern tapas impossible for any other. She has no peer in watchful service and loyal devotion to her husband. Hence, her greatness in the despair of envy. Rightly has she been named Anusuya or above envy. Sita remains with her. Be it so," replied Raghava, and said, "Sita, daughter of Janaka, the Lord of Wisdom, mark to you what the Maharishi advised us to secure unparalleled good to us. Hasten to the side of this noble lady, loyal to the least wish of Rama, who ever sought her welfare and happiness. She touched the feet of Anusuya in deep reverence and announced herself." old beyond the memory of man she was lean wrinkled and weak her sparse locks were white as snow and her limbs shook as a plantain tree before a fierce wind sita made respectful inquiries of her health and observances the aged dame embraced her warmly smelt the crown of her head and exclaimed My darling, do you walk in the ways of the good and faithful wives? You have renounced kith and kin, riches and comfort, vanity and selfishness, and have elected to follow your husband to the woods and share his fourteen years of exile. Sinner or saint, in the palace or in the woods, a wife's place is ever at the side of her husband. The worlds of glory are ever open to her who renders faithful and true service to her Lord. He is her God, be he bad, sensual, or poor. She has no dearer kin than the husband who protects her under all conditions. You can best liken him to tapas that secures imperishable merit. But bad and foolish women have no discrimination of excellences and defects. To gratify their wishes is their sole lookout. They render no obedience to any man. It is rather the other way. They lord it over their husbands. Other men occupy their thoughts ever. Their feet can never be turned from the path of wickedness. They have left the path of dharma far behind them and labor hard to win the crown of deathless infamy. But such noble women as you are well acquainted with the ups and downs, the changing conditions of life. A 
adorned with noble excellences, they sit in the glory in the worlds of the good and the holy. Walk carefully in the footsteps of good and virtuous wives. Make your husband's life and work your own. Undying fame and the world's regard are your meat here and supreme bliss hereafter. And in this wise did Anasuya unfold the duty of a faithful wife and true. Mangalam Koshlendraya Mahaniya Gunapdiya Chakravarti Dhanurajaya Sarvabhaumaya Mangalam.